Hi everyone, my name is Hank, and in this video I'll be going over how to calculate the intrinsic value of a stock using the ratio-based method and the uh, projected growth rate of a particular stock. Now there's many uh, different ways to calculate the intrinsic value of a stock, and I'll go over other methods in the future. So first of all, we need to separate the idea between the price and the value of a stock. Now, if you are a value investor, you want to buy companies that are able to show a consistent profit. And you want to work out the intrinsic value of the stock. And you want to buy that stock at below the intrinsic value. It is the same idea as never buying clothes when it is full price and always buying clothes when it is on sale. I will be using Facebook in this example. So I'm gonna start with the Facebook symbol, which is FB, and I will look it up on Yahoo Finance. So we, first of all, we need the price of Facebook is 211.26. So enter that, 211.26. And then next thing that we need is the earnings per share for Facebook, which can be found here, which is 7.29. Next thing we need is the growth rate for Facebook. Now there's a couple of different ways to work out the growth rate for Facebook. One way is to look in the Facebook financials and look at the past cash flows for the last couple of years and work out the uh, increase in the free cash flow for Facebook over the last couple of years. Another much easier way is to look at the analysis tab and scroll down to look at the growth estimates for Facebook. So Facebook for the next five years is expected to have 16.43% growth per year. So we enter 16.43. For rate of return, you want a decent amount as the rate of return for your investment. Now a commonly used figure is 15% as the rate of return. For margin of safety, Filltown recommended a 50% margin of safety. This is to uh, compensate for any errors in the estimation for the uh, growth rate. The next thing that we need to do is to estimate the future P-E ratio for the company for the uh, next couple of years. Now there's also a couple of different ways to do this. One way is to manually uh, estimate the uh, P-E ratio based on uh, past history. And the way to do that is to go to a website called Macro Trends. In Macro Trends, I can look up the Facebook stock and look at its historic price ratios. And we are interested in the last five years. So if we look at the uh, P ratio for Facebook for the last five years, it had a high of 90 and a low of around 17. But on average, it is around the uh, 30 PE ratio mark. So we can enter that as our manual estimate. Another method to work out the future P-E ratio is to look at the average between the 5-year P-E ratio high and the 5-year P-E ratio low. And to find those values, we can look on MSM Money. So we can look up Facebook here. And under Analysis and Price Ratio, we could find that the 5-year high is 80.96. 80.96 and the five year low is 17.32. And then we basically take the average of the two, which gives us 49.14. The third way to work out the P ratio is to just use two times the estimated growth rate or for the company. And we always want to use the most conservative P-E ratio for our calculation. To start off the calculation, I put in the earnings per share for the company. And then I multiply the growth rate with the earnings per share. 
and then added it to the previous earnings per share. And I did that over the next five years. And then after five years, I got a value of $15.6. I then multiply the 15.6 earnings per share by the estimated P ratio for the company to give the uh, intrinsic value for the company stock. To calculate the intrinsic value of the stock today, we need to work backwards by dividing the intrinsic value of the stock in the future by one plus the rate of return that we expect, which is here 15%. And then we work backwards over the past few years to give out our intrinsic value of the stock today, which was $232. We then apply a margin of safety by multiplying the intrinsic value by 50%, which will give us a buy price of $116.32 for the Facebook stock. If the buy price that we calculated is higher than the current stock price, then the stock is a buy. Of course, this is estimating a 50% margin of safety. If we lower the margin of safety to 30%, we also change our buy price. Using the ratio-based valuation method for calculating the intrinsic value for Facebook, and even with a margin of safety at 30%, we can still see that the current Facebook stock price is quite overvalued compared to the buy price target that we're looking for. This is a way to calculate the intrinsic value of a company using the ratio-based uh, valuation method. And I will leave a link to the uh, spreadsheet in the description below. There are two values that significantly affect the intrinsic value calculation for the particular stock. And number one is the growth rate for the particular company. The higher the growth rate of the particular company, the more the company is expected to earn in the future. And therefore, the higher the intrinsic value the stock will be today. So if Facebook has a growth rate of 20%, it also increases its intrinsic value today. The second factor that significantly affects the intrinsic value calculation is the future P-E ratio. And here again, the higher the estimated future P-E ratio, the higher the intrinsic value for the stock. And this also makes perfect sense because higher future P-E ratio means that the stock itself can be sold for more in the future. And because the stock is worth more in the future, it is also worth more today. In our Facebook example here, we have a manual estimated PE ratio of 30, and we have an intrinsic value of $270, assuming a 20% growth rate. However, when the uh, PE ratio is 49, the intrinsic value increases to $443. And at a 30% margin of safety, using the manual estimated P-E ratio, Facebook stock is not a buy. However, if we use the uh, 49 P-E ratio, uh, the buy price is $310 at 30% margin of safety. And therefore, Facebook is a buy at this price. Also keep in mind that you can't just simply completely uh, trust the growth rate given by the expert because there's also the uh, possibility that the expert will be wrong. So always keep a uh, big margin of safety just in case the uh, predictions does not come out to be true. Now I have done quite a few uh, different intrinsic value calculations on different companies such as Amazon, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, and I can safely say that none of their stock price actually fall under the uh, buy price. So if you use this method of calculation, most of the stocks on the market is still uh, considered as overpriced. Now it's up to you to make the judgment call of whether you want to invest in these uh, particular companies.
and be sure to always consult your financial advisor before you do. I'll be going over other intrinsic value calculations in the future and I will see you in the next video.